Okay, I'm starting with a small one. It's actually a baby, a spiderling. It's an uh, amazing tarantula. Very colorful as a baby. And you can see the blue fangs. And they stay blue through the uh, life of the tarantula. This is called a blue fang skeleton tarantula. It comes from Brazil. The scientific name is Epibopus cynognathus. I know I'm butchering that name, but um, I'll have an annotation with the correct name. But as you guys can see, she's very, very pretty. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we won't be able to see this guy. Um, this is a cobalt blue tarantula. The scientific name is Haplopelma levidum it comes from Burma or Thailand. Uh, as you can see, it builds a barrel. So it's really hard to see the tarantula itself. But as you can see, it is right there. Well, it's hiding back there, as you can see. When they get uh, bigger, this species becomes very blue all around the body. Really beautiful Asian tarantula species. Um, quite aggressive, so we gotta be careful with that. Okay, here we have a Singapore blue acting like crazy, trying to get away. These are also a very color colorful species. Even as a baby, it's showing color. The uh, scientific name is Lampropelma Violaceops or something like that. I'm butchering these names. I am sorry about it, but I'm not a tarantula guy. I will have these names written. It's trying to borrow itself, as you can see, trying to get away from the light. But um, very pretty species, nevertheless. When they get bigger, they become violet colored. Really beautiful uh, tree species. Okay, I'm gonna let the little guy rest now. Okay, now here we have a very special tarantula in its burrow, hiding from us. It's really hard to see her right now. It's another spiderling. Uh, the name is P. metallica. It comes from India. This is an endangered species, very rare in the collections, extremely expensive. A spiderling goes for around 60 euros or so. I have seen an adult for sale that was around 500 euros. Really crazy, but these turn out to be amazing when they get older. They have uh, blue legs and yellow stripes. Beautiful spiders. Hopefully as she grows, I will have more videos of her, but right now we just see a bundle of legs and some hair hiding. Sorry about that. All right, here we have another spiderling. This is, uh, the common name is Mexican Redney. Obviously it comes from Mexico. Um, the scientific name would be Brachypelma smithy. And these as adults have red knees since they have like eight. Um, this one, even though it's small, it's already showing some color. Hopefully it will turn out to be a beautiful female when it grows up. But yeah, amazing uh, South American species. And will turn out to be very beautiful. Now here we have a subadult tarantula. But um, retaining beautiful coloration. This is a female, uh, green bottle blue. They come from uh, scrublands of Venezuela and um, they end up very beautiful coloration even when they're ad as adults. They would have blue body and a leg coloration, this wonderful greenish blue. And they end up with a beautiful orange abdomen with some markings on it.
Now, as you can see, this species builds a lot of webbing. And um, I don't want to open the box and disturb the webbing and disturb the spider. But uh, really, really beautiful. Now, I'll try something. See if I can go inside the cage a little bit. Yeah, you see there's the webbing all around. And the spider is right there. Very beautiful animal. Okay, here we have another beautiful spiderling. This is uh, bigger than my other spiderlings. I disturbed it a little bit and it's angry at me, but um, I don't know the common name for this one. This is a defined species, but the genus name is Pomphobetus uh, Spec Makala, and it comes from Ecuador. And I have an adult uh, spider from the same genus that I'm going to show to you next. And they turn out to be a beautiful black color when they're mature. But again, a good looking species. And I'm just gonna stop disturbing it. Okay, and then here we have the current queen of the show. It's actually eating a big locust right now, so I don't wanna uh, get it out of her hide and um, just disturb her while she's eating. Even the slide is probably very disturbing to her. But uh, she is a big female, a very beautiful tarantula, as you can see, sucking on the locust right now. Um, she's another Pompo betus or Betus species. Uh, the, the species name is Antinos, comes from Peru and Bolivia. But a beautiful black species with some red hairs at the abdomen. Uh, amazing spider. An adult female. A young adult, I would say. Um, and she is right now the star of my show. A very beautiful spider. Okay, here we have another spiderling. But it's a big, big spiderling. A fat one too. This is a true Teraposa blondi. Uh, the common name is Goliath bird eater. It comes from Venezuela. This is a true example of the species. Captive bred, like almost all my other teas. Um, a beautiful animal, and hopefully, it will be the biggest in the house uh, when the time comes. But just look at it. An amazing animal. Even as a spiderling, it's big and it will be much bigger. The adult females grow to be about as big as a dinner plate, so it's maybe it's not the longest uh, leg tarantula, but it's definitely the bulkiest. Lastly, we have the feeders. These are uh, Turkestan roaches. Here's a male that we are seeing, typical with um, long wings, and here is a female. I have more than a thousand roaches here in this small container. These are amazing feeders, have a lot more meat than crickets, much less smelly, really um, hard to detect odor, and that's mostly from the uh, cat food that I use to feed them interesting roaches look how many I have it's just an amazing number of roaches here every size males females younglings all around as a last note for today's video I would like to thank my friend Urs Haag I will give uh, his name and email address as an annotation an extremely competent tarantula breeder has thousands of tarantulas Eight of the nine tarantulas I have comes from him, and I like to buy everything kept bred as much as I can. And he breeds a lot of species, and he's a master terraposa breeder. So I would definitely contact him if you are in Europe, especially in Germany, and if you're looking for a tarantula.